There's a real unanimous agreement that what P&O have decided to do, and particularly the way that they have gone about it, is, as you said, unacceptable. If you saw the Maritime Minister Robert Quartz in the Commons yesterday speaking with, well, frankly, barely restrained fury, his opposite number, the Transport Secretary, Shadow Transport Secretary, sorry, Lou Hay, in late from Labour, describing this as beneath contempt, the action of thugs. Now, we know that, that ministers have already had discussions with uh, bosses at p and I would expect that those would, uh, we would get more of those. Uh, one thing we also know that the Department for Transport has said it will do is to review if the government itself has any contact contracts with P&O and update MPs in due course. But there is a real sense for MPs that somehow government needs to show that it does not condone uh, what has been happening here. And there's a real sense that, that it needs to do that.